Hi, my name is Tim Dudley and I'm the president of New Leaf Publishing Group and our publicity department has asked me to talk to you about why I'm so fired up about this book, The Summit, that is coming out by Eric Alexander. One of the things that I'm so intrigued with was when blind Eric, Eric Weinmayer, decides he wants to try to summit Everest. He's totally blind. That seems impossible. That seems implausible. So unlikely. And so the curiosity, the fascinating thing for, for me with this is who did he pick to go with him? Obviously, he wanted men that were committed, men that were uh, believed in this, uh, men of integrity and character, obviously men of great physical strength as well. And so I was very fascinated with this team that he put together. And one of the things that was so interesting as I read the book and, and talked to Eric about their adventures on Everest was every one of these men on this team, they had a priority. Did they want to summit Everest? Absolutely, of course they did, but their main priority, their main focus was, we're going to get Blind Merrick to the top, and if I've got to take a second seat, if I, if I have to give up my chance at the summit, I will. And what happens is, is when everybody's in sync, when everybody's priorities line up, man, God can step in and really, really awesome things can happen. And, um, of course, the, the story you'll, you'll hear about and you'll read about, but they did make it to, to the summit, and it was a very powerful experience, and success followed them everywhere they went on that mountain, and different people stepped up to the plate at different times, and Blind Eric did reach, and he's the only blind man that has ever summited Everest. And so my question for you is, and as I thought about it myself, who's on my team? What men do I have around me and women do I have around me? Are, there, are they committed? Are they people of integrity? Are they followers of Christ? Are they going to pick me up when the going gets tough? Because we all have an Everest in our lives. Whether it's today or tomorrow, we all have something that we're going to have to overcome. It's just the world that we live in. So as you read this book, I want you to be challenged about the people that you have around you and the people that are on your team. And are they going to be there for you? And they're going to help you achieve the Everest in your life. Thanks for tuning in.